just deliberate and conscious effort to understand who I am as a black person and how I got here, thanks to you know, the people who made it possible for me to enjoy some of the freedoms I do now here. And personally, I think Black History Month is really important for all of us to like, come together and then be united to our common history and our independence. As you, are, you know, Af like the life itself started in Africa. For me, it's information because I don't know much about black history. So it's very informative to me as a person. Yeah, I get to learn things. Black History Month to me is a commemoration of the black civilization in America. How they moved from being oppressed to being uh, leaders and revolutionaries. To me, it's like a month to remember where we're coming from, like the revolution, things we've been through, uh, the changes, development from slavery. Um, it's a month to know where we're coming from and to celebrate where we are and to motivate ourselves uh, to reach even further from where we are right now. For me, Black History Month uh, basically means uh, the revolution of black from where we started to how far we've gone, the empowerment we've had, how far we are growing and still we're still coming up stronger every day from slavery to now we have our own everything set up well. Yes. We celebrate Black History Month because we value black history and it's not just the history of African Americans, it's the history of Africans and African descended people. It translates within the context of looking at Africans and African descended people as one. Understanding that they're different, understanding that they have different histories and experiences to a certain extent, but also understanding that those histories and experience, experiences are similar within the context of slavery, within the context of racism, within the context of colonialism. That we have so much in our past and in our history so many men and women who we need to celebrate, not just in February, but every day of the year. Oh, absolutely. I think that each school should decide on what it wants to celebrate. And it can be called Black History, or it can be called African History. It doesn't matter. But I am convinced, as, as a professor, that too many of our young people simply don't know enough of their history. And I think to, to, to bring it to life, to connect it to students at this campus and students all over Kenya, is to look at the interactions and interconnections with Africans in the diaspora and Africans on the continent, whether they're Kenyan or Nigerian. And to understand there's a long history of interactions, whether we're talking about W.E. Du Bois coming to, to Ghana and ended up dying in Ghana, whether we're talking about President Obama's father who ended up coming to the United States, of course he came back in Kenya. And I think young people need to know the rich history of these connections and then they can see there are really not that many differences or whatever differences we have, we can certainly work very hard, much harder to, to find a common ground, to work on our common problems.